All right. Welcome to today's um, Adam of Code. Sorry about the late start. Um, what we were doing, I just kind of forgot. I was into, uh, I was deep in thought, and then I'm like, oh no. It's a. Uh, uh, oh. Wait. My Spotify moved over to my phone, which is not what I wanted. Right. Should be good. But let's get started with today's problem. I haven't seen anything on it. Wait, why is it playing? Oh my god. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright, make dear day seven. GD day, let's just do code day seven. Does that work? In the meantime, let's figure out why. My computer is so slow today. Probably because I have to... Oh no. I closed the wrong one. Like 100% CPU. Oh, and it's... Wow, okay. Let's close this one. Let's minimize this one. Quick docker desktop. I hope, um, oh, apparently have skipped 1% of the frame so far. Um, that's not good. Let me just work on this a bit. Oh, this is power toys. Looking for voice meter. All right, everything seems to be in order. I hope the audio is good. And I hope we don't get too many interruptions. Anyway, all right, let's look at day seven. Hey, little Annie. Always there for the stream, that's good. Now let's see, uh, the treachery of whales, day seven. A giant whale has decided your submarine's his next meal. It's much more faster. Okay. Oh, so we had a lantern fish last time. And now we have a whale. Alright, but it's a swarm of crabs. Um, okay, they're in a tiny submarine. Okay. They seem to be preparing to blast. This is a bit far-fetched, right? Me. Um, they seem to be preparing to blast the hole in the ocean floor. Sensors indicate a massive underground cave system just beyond where they're aiming. Perhaps safe marines need all to be aligned before they have enough power to blast. Okay, uh, so we have a crabs and holes and something. However, it doesn't look like they'll be aligned before the whale catches you. Maybe you can help. There's one major catch. Crab submarines can only move horizontally. You can quickly make a list of the horizontal positions of each crab. Uh, crab submarines have a limited fuel, so you need to find a way to make all of their horizontal positions match while requiring them to spend as little as possible. Okay. For example, consider the following horizontal positions. This means there's a crab with a horizontal position 16. A crab with horizontal position 1 and so on. Each change of one step in horizontal position is okay. You can choose any horizontal position to align them all on. But the one that costs the least fuel is horizontal position 2. 
This cost a total of 37 jewel. This is as cheap as possible. Outcome more expensive outcomes include the lightning at position 1, position 3, and uh, position 10. Determine the horizontal position of the crafts can align to using the least fuel possible. Okay, so... This seems... So we can see that, like, for the real input, there is a lot of... Like, a, a very big space, so... Let's just see if the naive way works. For now. And then roll with it, right? Alright. Um, new file. Day 7.hs. module main where and then we say example is a list of ints example equals okay and uh, so the naive way to do it is just to go over all the positions and um, for each of them okay but like we don't have to do it for every number right we can at least save us that so let's um So what we're going to do is that we're going to do um, GGI, GGI day 7 dot ages. Right. May equals point E. All right, let's see. Let's load this. Now let's say example. Okay. So group, so then we sort, example, uh, group, we have to import data.list, module, let's do task one, uh, takes in a list of ints and returns an int, one equals Defined where g is equals um, we're basically doing the same as last time, right? We do um, we do map uh, g is equals map x. Uh, so we have like a list here. List at x goes to uh, x comma length of l um, over group sort example yes so let's uh, print this um, let's just do that right sort input and this is going to be imp, and this is going to be in and then we're going to say print a task one on example and let's see <laughs> task one example Okay, so we have zero, number one, so one, number two, and um, then we say, um, Okay, so and then for each of the positions in that list, 
Uh, wait, let's do that. So pause this is equal to a map first of GS. So those are the positions, and then we say uh, fuel cost of uh, P is equal to um, map uh, uh, P prime and then to ABS of P for the difference between the two, right? P minus P prime. On pauses. Now let's, uh, ooh, yeah, so let's, and then we map this. Um, P prime, we're gonna map that. It's gonna be pre prime, comma L. We're gonna say L times. So the, 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 the this is a. Uh, we map this over pauses right so we're mapping this over GS um, so here we say the type of fuel cost that's a list of int p comma okay and then we are gonna say map fuel cost it pauses um and we're actually, we don't actually need this. So it's just going to be the sum you know, this map. So it's 0 to 49. 1 is 42. Uh, position 3 is 39. Position. Ooh, position 3. Right. So we're not necessarily... We're not, yeah, okay. It's not necessarily cheapest. Okay, so then we say, uh, I, so it's probably gonna be in the list, right? So min MP is gonna be MIP, it's gonna be min pauses. Max P is it gonna be MXP is going to be max pauses. And now we're going to map the fuel cost over MIP to MXP. Zero one. Okay, now we get all the positions, and then what if we? Maybe we just sort. It sorts on the. No, probably sorts on the first one. Yeah. Sort by. Uh, sort. By a compare on S and D. Okay, so it we can sort by comparing on. We don't need that. We say minimum by. 
237, which is the one we want. Determine the horizontal position that the crafts can align to using the least fuel possible. How much fuel must you spend to align to the position? So the answer here is 37. So let's grab the input again. Are we just gonna paste it? Yes. Um, task one, compare on map fuel cost mid max. Okay. So how long does it take for the input? Okay, didn't take too long actually, uh, but did take some time, right? GT 03. We could, so what we could do is do like a, some sort of sliding window. Where, because kind of like if you know how much it takes to move to this position, right? It's gonna change. It's not gonna change too much, right? Um, but uh, you know, we're at yeah, 25, 20, 20 milliseconds, so tw not too bad. Let's try and give it three five two two five four. Let's try to give that as the first answer. All right, we got it. Now, the crabs don't seem interested in the proposed solution. Perhaps you must understand crab engineering. Okay, they don't. So, instead, each change of one step in horizontal position costs one more unit to fuel than the last. The first steps cost one. The second step costs two. The third step costs three. And so on. So it's like the sum uh, so because of the, the end step costs n so we're summing from 1 to n which is n times n minus 1 over 2 right So, at each crab move, moving further becomes this change is the best for some position logging them up. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to the kind of the uh, okay. So this is the one that we want. D -d 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 -d. I don't think this is gonna be too much because I think we can just use math. Okay, so now we're gonna say uh, we're gonna go back to this one. Um, and we're gonna run it on the example. Uh, task two example. So okay, this just becomes a uh, five. see so here instead of being the length of the abs this is actually okay so f of p f p uh, p prime comma l so the function is going to be uh, l times a b s p minus p prime so this was the distance that they have to move where d equals and the length now becomes c times d minus one i think it's d minus one over two divided by two yeah so let's do it like this 
Uh, let's just make sure. Move from our trusty Sam 1 to N of X. Yeah, it's. Oh, it's plus one, not minus one. My mistake. So, uh, do, do, do. Right, and now we are not. We're mapping the FP function. Okay, let's see. Uh, so position five is 168 exactly and the old one two costs 260 okay so we are still we have the right one and we just changed one thing and it's like it's not even it's not that bad I forgot to take minimum by Let's try this All right we got day two as well. Uh, let's go back. Okay, so today's was pretty easy. Um, and, you know, okay. We could probably have done it way faster. Using some uh, dynamic programming things. But, you know, at 25 milliseconds um and like we don't really need to right i wish there was a function that did this let me see oh no i changed it but i yeah i think you know we did it um but i think like we really this sort by group that really changes it, right? Because I think like there's not that many unique crabs. Um, so yeah, so we need to compute it for a lot of positions, but like we're not computing it for that many elements, right? Which is uh, which is what is important here. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky with that data distribution, right? And uh, you don't have to do that much. Sometimes uh, you become, you're unlucky, right? And like your approach would be good with another distribution, but because it's, well, this one turned out to be really wrong, right? D, D. But you can also see, like, if these numbers were massive, then we would be in trouble, right? It's really what's really saving us here. Oh my god, these are too many numbers. What's really saving us here is that they're not very distributed. Because so, like, it's at the it's the at the order of um. So we sort them. That's fast. Grouping them becomes fast also. You can also tell, like, you know, these numbers are very similar, right? So we can probably... Like, by knowing one, we can probably kind of keep track of something and figure out in the second one right away. Um... 
in fact, and yeah, but this one was too fast. So, you know, there's really no point, right? Do we need this? Mm, yeah. All right, I think uh, we'll just call it quits today. Um, I mean, we did it very fast. Um, and I, you know, there's not really much that to explain, right? I think, I think that's what we should say, right? You know, if, okay, if, we're, if it takes us like the last time or two days before or something. Uh, yeah, on Sunday, like it took us, like, t was taking us 20 seconds, right? And that's, that's a bit much, right? But, uh, yeah. How did you do it, Fabian? Like, what was your, how, how did you cheese it? You just computed it? Because I think you can, yeah, I think you can get away with it here. Yeah, exactly. It's also like, it's not that hard of a problem. And I think like, you know, especially if you know this formula for summing numbers, one to n, right? Then it, it, it becomes very fast, right? But yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's make this a... Let's make this generic task. Uh, it's gonna take an int to int function, right? And then this to int and returns an int, comma int task dt uh, int equals. dt and then task 2 is just a task um, and then we just put this formula down draw this one and, uh, and then instead of doing this we say dt gonna minimize the code here let's see and uh, task one is just um, task id like we don't change it now let's just Bring task, make sure we didn't Yeah, little gauss. Why do you mean little gauss you call it? Is there a what is what is big gauss here? These are still the same outputs, right? I guess we... Yeah, now it's taking a bit longer. Why is that? And now it takes a bit longer, you notice, right? It's not 25, it's like 50. And that's because... Uh, it, I, I think it, it can't inline things this hard, right? Um, which is a bit funny. But okay. Um, let's see. How can we make this? Can we make this faster even?
I mean, now we don't need to rename this. But yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna speed it up, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true, I remember that legend, like his... He was like three years old, he was supposed to be helping his dad do the accounting for his company, something like that. That Gauss, man, he crazy. Crazy smart, okay. Um, All right, now I do both of them in 97, which is worse than it was before. And I think, like I said, it's because of you know, the inliner can't be as aggressive, but you know, it's pretty good, you know? Yeah, I don't think there's much to dive into today, right? It's just group, sort, and then we kind of count the number of each group. Why we uh, trace show ID on this? I'm just wondering, like, how much we're gaining here. I trace. Ratio length GS. Yes. Yeah, okay, so we take it down from How many inputs we have? We have a thousand inputs and we change it into 657. Okay, I guess the that sorting thing is not what's saving us here. Maybe it's just the Gauss formula. I mean, we go from O of N to O of 1 just using this Gauss formula. Um, Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we cut, we cut the time down in half, right? But, uh, right. Guess we could also... We could also, like, memoize the function, because... Instead of like, yeah, so just like when you see a number you computed before, just return it instead of computing it again. Yeah, okay, this is so fast that we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother, I think. We get both of them in 79 milliseconds for, yeah. And I think it's because we keep it at like O of N. Or O and log N, right? We group and then we sort. And then... Uh, no, it's not O of N log N, sorry. It's the O of N log N uh, plus then... Uh, well, no. And then O of N, like a reduced N, but not that much, times uh, the difference between the smallest number and the largest number. Right? So if we put you know, one million here. It's going to take a lot longer. Yeah. Binary search could also work. Yeah, that's true. 
We could do minor research on that list. But yeah, I can see that it's, it's really dependent on the numbers not being too big. do binary search here um that's also the thing right we're in a we're we're in a la list lazy language right so it would be it's a bit hard to do binary search because we don't have random access to the array right um Yeah, I think this is also like a case of, you know, premature optimization, right? Like, if it... Oh, no. No, it happened again. Uh, you know, if it takes 79 milliseconds, like, you know, there's no... There's not much point to trying to optimize it too much, right? Um, you know, unless you're doing this again and again and again a million times, right? There's probably another part of your system that takes longer. So, yeah. All right. I think we'll just keep it short for today. Um, it's... Oh, thanks for the follow, Meshagat. Um... Yeah, I, I guess we'll be... I'll be aligned again tomorrow at uh, 7. Not 7.30. So, yeah, because I've been, I've been... I'm usually going at 7, but I tried to do 7.30. I was going to have the option of doing floorball, but... Yeah, then I failed. I don't know. And... Uh, um, What am I thinking? Yeah, so, yeah. See you tomorrow, right? And uh, let's hope we get... I Because I like it, you know, when our kind of first illusion... I mean, like, yeah, when our first solution is a bit hard, right? This one is just like, oh, let's just do it, right? And uh, that's also like kind of what I've discovered about Advent of Code is that you can like sit down and think really, really hard and make it go super fast, right? But it's also a competition about programming speed, like how fast can you do it, right? And I think like we were done at 18 minutes, right? Um... And it finished, right? So we have to balance like running running speed against programming speed. So this is kind of the the way I would do it in a company, right? Because yeah, you can spend you don't want to spend too much time on something that uh, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't have a bot, but the keyboard is a uh, the Varmilo, and it's actually custom made. Uh, in a sense, the keycaps. It's Icelandic flag, right? I'm Icelandic. Best country. And uh, let me show you. I have two keyboards, actually. I have uh, this one, and then I have the a Norwegian one, right? But, I mean, they have different buttons. So, like, this is how they come. But they look like the Danish flags. Uh, but we don't like Denmark because they were our overlords. What I did is I brought like from Varmilo, like a a Greek <laughs> Greek flag thing, which is like white and blue. But only the keycaps, right? And then I put some of the blue ones here to make the Norwegian flag, and the rest of them to make the Icelandic flag. Uh -huh. And you know, makes me feel better that I'm not supporting Denmark. I mean, they're they're cool. Legos are nice, but uh, they were our overlords, so we're supposed to have a bit of a beef with them. You know, it is pretty okay. Wow, Fabian. Yeah, we have three hundred, four hundred thousand people approximately, right? We're we're doing pretty well compared. All right, too much jibber jabber. I'm gonna have dinner. 
See you guys and girls tomorrow uh, at 7. I think also the videos have been coming up, right? I think uh, yesterday's video should be up now. And then this one will be up at um, in 24 hours, right? Because there's an embargo until then. But uh, yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, so much for today. And uh, thanks for joining in. And uh, yeah, make sure to follow. You get a notification when we go live. Uh, go live tomorrow at 7. And uh, yeah, it's nice to have some people in the chat, right? It, it was more fun like the first day we had so many people in the chat we were like discussing different ways to do it um so you know i love for you all to you know go ahead do the admin code and then join us in the evening right where we where i kind of do my attempt live and then we discuss how to do it differently right um because i i think that's the most fun part right like because you have one idea and uh, and uh, someone else has a completely different idea. It's really fun to kind of discuss like how can we approach this problem, right? But so far it's been kind of straightforward. Like, you know, there's no crazy way we can do it. If we just do it the way kind of the obvious way. All right, but yeah, I hope to see you Fabian. Uh, little Lenny will probably be there and uh, and my boy Jonathan he joins sometimes alright see you tomorrow and uh, take care um, bye bye